my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which are books that are coming out in the second half of this year. So I did do a video earlier this year or late last year of all the books coming out in the first half of this year and now I am following that up with the video of books that are coming out in the second half of the year. However, when it comes to the later months of the year, I don't quite know of as many books yet. Not all of them have been announced. So I am debating on if next year I want to make this more of like a quarterly thing or make three videos for like the first third, second third, third third. So let me know what you would like if you want me to keep making these videos, if you want me to do half like this or a little more often so that they can be a little more accurate. But either way, today's video is going to start with July and then go through to December. So first off in July, on July 2, we have the It Girl by Ruth Ware and this is an author that I have been getting into recently and so I thought it'd be really cool to track her newest book coming out, The It Girl. And this is, so this is a thriller, there is a murder at Oxford and they think they catch the killer and so they put him away and then like 10 years later uh, one of the characters who is there realizes that this person may have been wrongly convicted and so now she must solve the murder that happened years ago based on I think events that are happening now. And then on July 19 we have The Daughter of Dr. Moreau and this is by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is based off of the island of Dr. Moreau. So this is like a reimagining. This is happening in 19th century Mexico and it is based on the daughter of the doctor and so it's another historical romance horror book which I absolutely loved, uh, Mexican Gothic, and so purely based off of that I am very excited to read Silvia Moreno Garcia's newest book as again it is historical and romance and also horror. I believe there's some like bodily horror and like experimental thing with animals. We'll see, but I am very interested in this come August, September, October for spooky season. And then we've got three books coming out on July 26. We've got Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. This is a duology and it Basically, there's this curse that's going to be unleashed on the kingdom, but we've got some morally gray characters in there. We also have Master of Iron by Trisha Levenseller. This is the second book of the duology of Blade of Secrets, which I recently read Blade of Secrets and I loved it. Our main character is a blacksmith and she also has anxiety and I could very much relate to that and I just love the first book. So the second book is coming out in July and I am really excited. Also on the 26th, we have The Valkyrie's Daughter. This is by Tiana Warner and this deals with Norse mythology about a girl who is a Valkyrie daughter and she really wants to become a Valkyrie but for some reason she can't, like she fails her test or something. So she ends up teaming up with her enemy and they have to go on some quest to gain the right to be Valkyries. I think it's enemies to lovers and I think it's queer. So. We're all excited for that. So those are the books that I know of that I'm excited for coming out in July. And also this isn't like a big comprehensive list of everything coming out. These are all the things that I am interested in or I think you might be interested in. Now moving on to August. On August 2nd we have Don't Go to Sleep by Bryce Moore. This is another historical thriller. It takes place in 1918 in New Orleans. And basically there is a disease that's going around New Orleans and so you don't want obviously to be outside to catch the disease but there's also a neighborhood killer and so our main character is trying to hunt down this killer without getting sick or also being murdered and so I'm very excited. I'm really excited for a lot of like historical fiction thriller or historical fiction fantasy. I have been interested in this concept for a little bit now and so I'm really excited for all of these like historical thrillers coming out. Also on August 2 we have the third book in the Bala Santiago series. So this, I think it's just a trilogy but it's published through Rick Riordan and it deals with Mexican mythology. 
Also, on August 2, we have Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin, and I am super excited. I loved her book, Nature of Witches, and I would always highly recommend that one. And so Wild is the Witch, it takes place in the same world, but it is not following the same characters or within the same story. You don't need to have read Nature of Witches in order to read Wild is the Witch, but I think it's really cool that it's the same world still. You have a witch who kind of spends her time writing curses but never actually using them because she doesn't actually want to curse anybody until one of her curses gets stolen by a bird and so if something happens to the bird the curse could be released and it will make all of the people in the region that she is in witches. Which is really bad because you know witches aren't exactly super welcomed in the world so that would be a very bad curse to come out indeed. So, I am so excited for this one. Oh my word. Anyway, moving on to August 16, we have Love in the Time of Serial Killers, and this is by Alicia Thompson. Um, this is about a main character who is true crime obsessed. Um, she thinks her neighbor is a serial killer, and so she kind of starts to investigate him, when really he could just be like an actually nice guy but those don't exist so he must be a serial killer right moving on to august 30 we've oh, or august 23 we've got babel by rf kwong i haven't read any of rf kwong's books before but this one just caught my eye quite recently and i'm really excited uh it is a dark academia fantasy with heavy themes of translation it's you know it's kind of based off the Tower of Babel except it's a school and then there is violence because of a translation that was done. Me being someone somewhat of a polyglot who wants to work in translation one day. Um, I, I love this. I love this idea of dark academia translation. I am here for it massively. And then we've got two books coming out on August 30th, and the first one is The Final Gambit by Jennifer and Lynn Barnes. This is the final book in the Hawthorne Legacy trilogy. I have the first two, and I really enjoyed the first two, so I'm hoping that this will be a really good ending to the trilogy. And finally is The Dragon's Promise by Elizabeth Lim. This is the second book in the duology, the first book being Six Crimson Cranes. This is based off of Chinese mythology. I recently read Six Crimson Cranes and I loved it. I adored it. It was such beautiful, magical writing and so I'm really looking forward to the finishing of this duology. Moving on to September, there are four books that I am looking forward to coming out this September. The first being on September 9th, Monsters Born and Made by Tanvi Berwa. And this is one that I, has been like on my radar but I just haven't actually heard much about. But when I first saw it, I knew it intrigued me. So it's on this list. But basically our main character, it's a combination of like The Hunger Games and something else that I hadn't read, but the main character kind of cheats her way into getting this race, getting into this very deadly and dangerous race, because the winner of that race gets a whole bunch of money, like it's life changing, but our main character has a younger sister who is very ill, and so they can't afford the medicine, so she cheats her way into this race to win it to save her younger sister. You see the thun Hunger Games themes? Yeah, so I am, I am very intrigued, and I am excited to read this. On September 13, we have The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book in the duology following one of the characters from her Caraval trilogy, The Jack of Hearts. So I read the first book, Once Upon a Broken Heart, and I very much enjoyed it. And I was really disappointed when I realized the second book wasn't out and wasn't coming out soon. So you don't necessarily need to read Caraval in order to read the duology, but I would highly recommend starting with the Caraval trilogy just to have a better background on the world and to have a small introduction into this character and kind of the made-up mythology that they are from. Over to September 20th, we have When in Rome by Sarah Adams, and when she says Rome, she means Rome, Kentucky, not Rome, Italy. It is a grumpy sunshine, small town, celebrity kind of story, which is so cute. Uh, I love grumpy sunshine tropes. I haven't read a lot of small town tropes, but I'm sure I like small town tropes because I like small towns. I didn't grow up in one and I don't live in one, but I've always loved the idea of one. 
But really the, the thing that won me over with this book is the fact that our small town grumpy man, or our small town guy, is helping his grandma run their pie shop. And I'm a sucker for bakery romances. I, I just, I am such a sucker for bakery romances. Bakery more so than general cooking, but I will read both. So I'm just excited to put all those tropes together and hopefully it will be a lovely little romance. And finally, in the month of September on the 27th, we have The Golden Enclaves by Naomi Novik. This is the third book in the Scholomance trilogy. The first one is A Deadly Education, which I have read, but I have not read the second one yet, but it is a dark academia fantasy, and I loved it very much. It was my favorite book of 2021, so it's kind of crazy that I haven't read the second book, and now the third one is coming out, so I need to catch up on those. <laughs> Now, funny thing is, is I don't actually know of any books coming out in October. Uh, I just, I haven't heard of any coming out in October, so I don't have any here, which is why I think uh, it might be more beneficial for me to do more than just half the year and then the other half of the year, because I'm sure there are books coming out in October that I would like, and probably more in September, especially in preparation for spooky season. and. You know, a lot of books come out on a specific day in spring. I think it's either in April or May. I think it's like May 3. And then there's another one kind of in the fall before spooky season. And I just feel like I don't know of enough books that are coming out. But yeah, long story short, I got nothing for October. So we're going to move right on to November. So I know of two books coming out in November. They are both by the same author, and I kind of can't believe that they have two books coming out in the same month and the books that they are. So Lissa K. Adams on November 1st has A Very Merry Bromance, which is the fifth book in the Bromance Book Club series, and I am really excited because I love that series. The Free Singer? I don't know. We'll see. But whatever, I am excited for it to read. And then the one I can't believe... Goodreads tells me this, and Goodreads could be doing me wrong here, but I believe on November 30th, Courting the Countess by Lisa K. Adams is coming out, which is interesting. So... Yeah, those are all the books that I know of that I'm excited to read. I probably definitely won't get to them all because I'm really good at finding books that I want to read and then not reading them. Yay, we love being a mood reader, but yeah, so let me know if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and then comment down below if there are any books that I missed, books that you know that are coming out soon, that you are excited to read, or you think I would like to read. I would love to chat with you about that. Otherwise, if you are new to the channel, feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified. I make videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, even during the summer. <laughs> but until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading!